Hey everyone, in today's video we are doing a portrait photo shoot with a slightly different prime lens than usual. Today we have the Sony 28mm f2 lens, which is not an expensive lens, it's not a cheap lens, it's kind of somewhere in the middle, so I thought we would do a portrait photo shoot with this. So in case you haven't seen it yet, I've already reviewed this lens as a travel lens and like a vlogging lens, so I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to watch. So the 28mm is slightly wider than my favorite focal length of 35mm for portraits, so we do have to be a little bit more careful about distortion when it comes to faces, but we're gonna go out and start our photo shoot now and see how we go and I'll give you guys all my thoughts of this lens for portraits throughout the video. Oh, it looks really nice just spinning around. <laughs> Even though the 28mm is an f2 lens, it doesn't provide a lot of foreground to background separation in a full body portrait, which is one of the reasons why I love this lens so much for travel photography. This can work for a portrait photo shoot as well, depending on what kind of style you're going for. The closer we get to our subject, the more separation you can start to see. And then we'll get into the sun as well. So yeah, it's like on your face a little bit. I think even just back here, it was kind of hitting your face. Yeah. I'll get a close up for this shot. Maybe I'll get you to twist this way. That looks so good there. One thing I really wanted to try with this lens is capturing a direct, harsh sunlight portrait. I really loved the results of these. The colors straight out of the camera are really nice and the photo is super sharp and clear even though I was shooting wide open at f2. I'll just take a couple more and then we're done here. And then maybe one with your eyes closed, just kind of, yeah, basking in the sunlight. <laughs> Let's go to that tree. <laughs> it's so predictable. Yeah, in there. <laughs> See, she knows me already. <laughs> I want to get a full body shot for this one. So just standing like that is perfect. <laughs> I found that this lens had no problems focusing on Shanice's face throughout the entire photo shoot, both with IAF and a single focus point on her eyes, even in a busy background such as this spot, during backlight or when she was moving around. Then let's cross the road to, actually all those houses are so cute. Can I get you to sit just here? Try not to get those bins in the shot. So I think for this one, if you could lean your elbows on your knees. Just because I have to get like a weird angle so I don't get the bins. Yeah, let's get there. That's cool. Oh, I like that with your hand up. And then I might shoot one kind of like from the side as well if you wanted to. Um, maybe the outer arm you can put kind of against your stomach. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, oh, do you want to cross your legs as well? Yeah, that's really nice. And could you also point your nose towards the camera, towards the lens? Yeah. landscape ones here as well and maybe that hand you can rest it on your shoulder yeah that's nice and kind of like dig your chin into your hand a little bit throughout the photo shoot i realized that this lens's strength with portraits was with a mid-length composition it was just the right distance that the distortion of a 28 millimeter focal length isn't super obvious and it's close enough to provide just enough background to foreground separation. 
With the full body shots, I kind of felt Shanice was getting a bit lost in the background and wasn't standing out enough, especially when we were shooting in flat lighting, such as in the shade. Did you want to try, I was thinking if you kind of grab like your hands and stretch out, yeah. Yeah, like that. And you can move them up and down like so it's, yeah. This one, I think, if you wanted to cross your... Oh, actually, you get how you had your hands like that. It's nice. Like you go into bed standing up. <laughs> so these I'm cropping around your stomach area. And just gotta wait for that person to pass. <laughs> These are so pretty. Let me get some in portrait. And maybe if you do that over the shoulder here with me. Oh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> that looks so good there. And then twist, a, yeah, like a little bit towards me, yeah. Again, while shooting in this backlit situation, the lens had no problems catching focus on Shanice's eyes, and I think the photos straight out of the camera were absolutely glowing. Could you <laughs> lean up against here if that's okay with your hand? Oh, yes. I was like, <laughs> just like lay down on the yeah. ground. Actually, maybe if you have your feet like flat on the ground so your knees are. And if you wanted to lean your head into your shoulder. I wasn't using a lens hood just so we could see what the lens flare looks like. I think the lens flare looks pretty cool, but you do have to be careful of where it's placed as it could really easily cover someone's face completely. And let me try some in landscape as well. <laughs> and then if you also wanted to rest both your hands just kind of in between your in your lap in terms of final sharpness i have a close-up portrait unedited 100 percent crop coming your way in a few seconds so you can see i wouldn't compare this to say my canon 35 millimeter 1.4 mark ii but the 28 millimeter considering the size weight and price is a sharp enough lens for portrait photography so the portraits that we're shooting right here are backlit but if you've noticed in the photos shanice is well lit in her face we actually have a white building right next to us like maybe two meters away from shanice so it's giving us some really natural Reflector, a natural reflector. I'll just put like the dial up tones while I was thinking of the word there. Yeah, so the white building is just reflecting all the light back into Shanice's face and it looks so nice. So for the last shot, I want to try and get as 
close up as possible. There were a ton of details in the raw photos I was editing, lots of skin texture, sharp eyelashes, and just an overall clear image. I do carry this lens in my bag during a wedding in like case I need to capture tip? a large group shot or need something wider than my 35mm. And as I mentioned, this is the main lens I take with me while traveling to be able to capture landscapes, to film my vlogs, and to take portraits with my surroundings. that is all I have for today's portrait photo shoot on the Sony 28mm f2 lens, this tiny little lens. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'd love to know what your favourite photos were from the photo shoot down in the comments as well as what you think of this lens. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single Wednesday so I will see you guys all next time. Bye!